Hey everyone, I'm going to do a video today showing you why you should not be running Rekordbox 6 in performance mode with your brand new CDJ 3000s. And let's get right into it. This side here is hooked up to Rekordbox DJ. This side here is running off a USB stick. So, same folder, more or less, except for a few tracks missing. But like, look, you're going to see here, that's how that looks. You have no touch screen ability to scroll up and down. Or over here, not only can we scroll up and down, but we also can see the waveform stripe of the song and you have touch cue. If you don't know what touch cue is, touch cue means when you have your headphones hooked up and you got your cue link adjusted here and turned on that you can preview the track. Not only can you preview the track there, but if the track's playing and you want to listen in advance, you can scrub through and listen in advance to see where you want to mix in. That is one of the best features of CDJs right there. Not just CDJs, but the new CDJ 3000s, right? Uh, one of the other things we're missing as well, too, as we look over on the performance side with Rekordbox DJ software. I don't see a spot to be able to adjust whether I want to sort by key or whether I want to sort by BPM. Over here, of course, right there, I can sort by key, I can sort by BPM. Also, I've got the ability to filter to like, if we're, you know, running both USBs on these things, that you can set it all up to sort things based on how you want to sort them by rating, by color code, by key. And you just don't have that ability to do on Record Box 6 from the players itself. So let's get back over here and see. So the only thing, the only thing we've got here. Is the ability to play beat port and beat source and all that other streaming stuff from the players. The only thing. But as I load up a track, let's see how fast this actually loads in. And I'm running a super fast connection. And it's still not there. And it's still not there. And finally, it's here. So that took a little longer than I would have liked, to be honest. We go to the next track. It's a little faster. And we're getting there. So, like I said, that's the only advantage and the only reason even remotely possible that I would even consider doing that. But even that seems to be far-fetched, you know what I mean? Like, I would still recommend if you're a person that wants to do all your streaming stuff but play it with a player, I suggest you go buy one of these. Go buy yourself a DDJ-1000. Absolutely love this controller and it works amazing with the software because it was designed for the software. This here was designed to be a standalone player. There's no reason why you're gonna spend that kind of cash to be running something on a laptop. Absolutely no reason. So if you're that person that wants to use it like a HID controller for software, something is wrong with you. Go save your money and stick with a CDJ2000 or a Nexus or a Nexus 2 because you don't get the functionality except you have the hot cues. Big deal, big deal. You wanna do hot cue stuff, buy yourself a DDJ1000. That's it, talk to you all soon.